stories you did not choose in the last half hour. Uh, let's see, this one was, do you remember, uh, uh, what did we call this one? Airline layoffs, I guess? You should be ashamed, be ashamed that's right, John. we called it you should be ashamed. Uh, guys, uh, they, airlines have been plagued by delays and cancellations. It's been a rough summer for them. Uh, lost luggage, not to mention. And now one airline CEO is finally ready to face a very hard truth on this. That it's our fault, not theirs. Oh, I see. Qatar Airways CEO Akbar al Bakr recently said, people working from home are causing the chaos at airports. He told Reuters, quote, this all happened because people learned to get easy money from working out of their homes and fewer people now want to come do the jobs that we're doing. I can see that. He sees no, <laughs> he's, he sees no blame for himself in that, yeah. No, no. Uh, it's worth noting that the airlines laid off thousands of employees in yep. the pandemic, then tried to massively expand their schedules when travel demand rebounded. But how dare you people for finding better jobs after you were laid <laughs> off? If that taxiing plane just accidentally ran over him, I'd be okay with yeah. that. Yeah. You're supposed to sit there and wait for him to call you back. <laughs> All right, guys. That was our first course. Next. Second course. Oh, is this a toy surprise? Yeah. This uh, Raisin Brand came with a written news story in it. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, do you guys remember? Um, it's to die it's for. It's to yeah. die for. Remember, it's to die for. Uh, with the way things are going right now, guys, it's hard to find fun, family friendly entertainment. But I've got the perfect thing. This weekend, I'm going to round up the wife and kid, go to Home Depot, and we're going to build our own coffins. What? What? Yeah, it's the DIY craze that people are dying for these days, yeah, guys. Chuck Lakin teaches people how to build their own caskets. His website, lastthings.net, is like a <laughs> one-stop shop for checking out of this world. He has all kinds of tips and advice for planning a funeral, but he also has downloadable instructions for building your own coffin. Okay. You can choose from different styles, like the toe pincher, which is like the one that you typically see uh, Dracula in. Uh, or um, <laughs> there's the bookcase coffin, which you can use as a bookshelf until your final chapter comes. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Uh, if you want to go to Maine, he'll personally teach you how to build a coffin oh. for $500. Well, that's a good Not point. including the lumber, which he says is about $300. Still a bargain, though, yeah. when you consider the average store-bought coffin costs about two to three grand. And think of the fun you'll have building it together with your wife or with the wife good you times. Love together. And you, mm. then remember too, when you build it, you're committing yourself to a size. So you can't gain any weight after that. <laughs> That's true. If you build it, they will come. All right, uh, <laughs> final <laughs> course in our leftovers. She seems This nice. one is called, uh, she seems nice. Uh -oh. She seems nice. That's what we said about you, Trace, when you first started. <gasps> he seems nice. Wow. Out loud. He seems nice. Really? Yeah. Out loud. Yeah. A Michigan woman, guys, is suing a man because of a bad date. Uh, Kashante <laughs> Short's lawsuit accuses Richard Jordan of intentionally inflicting emotional distress. She claims Short either didn't show up or left early. It's kind of hard to tell from the lawsuit. Uh, anyway, she says that uh, her mother had recently passed away and their date was on her late mother's birthday. And so now she wants $10,000 for emotional damage. Uh, she's also accused Jordan of perjury in his letter that he filed responding to the lawsuit. Now, when the judge explained that's not perjury, <laughs> Short then gave a master class in how not to talk to a judge. Let's take a look. Let's do it. Anything in the complaint that says he made some false statement on the road? Because you don't know what happened. You're on the outside looking in. You don't know anything. But you're the plaintiff. Put on you have, wait a minute. You are the plaintiff. Are we done here? You have to are lay out here? your allegations are we done here? properly. Are don't we done here? No, we're I don't not. Know what perjury means. No, we're not. Do not insult my intelligence. You have to lay, do not insult my you intelligence. You have to lay your... Look at Richard up there at the top right. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he escaped that one. Yeah, uh, yeah when the judge asked him, like, if he's representing himself, he goes, to be honest, I thought this was going to be thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it was, though, because the judge told her that this isn't even the right court for this to be filed in. Uh, and, and then proceeded to try to explain to her what perjury was, and she did not have it. <laughs> All right, guys, that was the leftovers.